All right, this weekend is perhaps the most universally disliked weekend of the year. I think early morning risers can agree. Oh yeah, it's the weekend we all lose an hour of sleep as we spring forward to daylight saving time. And John Shumway has been looking into those pros and cons of the switch. And John, it couldn't come as a worse time Ugh. as people will be celebrating the St. Patrick's Day on <laughs> Saturday. You don't want to lose an hour of sleep uh. on that Sunday. No, you really don't. <laughs> but hey, it's here. And you know what? I was really surprised. The cons are much more serious than I realized when I started looking into this the good side of daylight saving time it's going to be with us till fall when it comes to changing our clocks i'm more you know for you know gaining an hour of sleep aren't we all but not this time we are losing an hour of sleep we get more daylight well not actually we just reapportion it to the evening i love it i love it i wish we never changed i wish it would stay the same and so do our bodies at a cellular level says AHN sleep specialist, Dr. Daniel Shade. These cells can get out of whack. It does affect me, I feel tired. But Dr. Shade says the daylight saving time effect goes beyond fatigue. The sleep deprivation itself by losing an hour can cause an increase in accidents. And we've seen on the day after we switched to daylight savings time, the risk of heart attack and the admissions for heart attack goes up by about 25% on that Monday after we switch. You may think you're handling it okay. But you would be surprised how much that affects our body. Dr. Shade says it messes with our circadian rhythm. And that controls our body temperature, our immune system to some extent, our fatigue and sleepiness level. The antidote is sunlight. It gets everything back to where it should be the next day. Okay, we're setting here. This is our start point. Let's go. Yeah, so worship the sun on Sunday and Monday. Now, Dr. Shade says it can take your body about a week to adjust to the time change. If you're not back to normal after a week, well, he says maybe it's time to go see a doctor about whatever may be bothering him. So for most of us, if it doesn't rise to the level of seeing a doctor, is there anything you could do to speed the adjustment? I know for kids, this can be uh, really difficult. Oh, absolutely. You know, Dr. Shade says try going to sleep a little bit earlier. I know that's kind of hard, especially if it's light and more light outside, but try going to sleep a little bit earlier, and if you need it, Melatonin can actually help you get into that sleep mode. Mm -hmm. And melatonin has become very, very popular. Right. We're going to talk yeah. a lot about that coming up in our next half hour. Okay. Interesting to what you have to say about that, John. Thanks.